Homes surrounded by water, roads flooded, sea foam filling the streets. From Hampton Beach to Seabrook to Salisbury, communities pounded by one storm now bracing for the next. So I figured it would be bad, but this is worse. One day after the storm flooded Salisbury Center, we spotted a surfer out waiting for the perfect wave. So much sand got washed even from the beach. People taking a look at the damage before the next storm hits. I mean, I might have to go out before the tide because I have a wedding to go to, so I don't want to be stuck in. More warnings not to drive through flooded roads. Cars left stuck in place when the water rose around them. When you see a barricade, don't go around it. Um, you're just causing more damage to yourself and putting other people at risk. In Hampton, police preparing high water rescue vehicles. They're also still trying to tally all the damage from the last storm. We're going to have compounding issues as a result of the storm, so it's, this could take quite some time in order for us to determine what the full scale of the damage is. Homeowners checking in on their summer places, gearing up for what's to come. We're just keeping our fingers crossed at this point. I mean, it is what it is. That's I, Talking to people who've been here for years, this is what they expect, but like they said, it's been this was the worst. Well, police are asking year-round residents especially to have a plan. Store your vehicles in a higher area, stock up on water, and don't be afraid to call them if you need to be evacuated.